West Midlands Police's actions were described as shocking and profoundly disturbing following an investigation by the IOPC, this time into the handling of the murder of two women in Solihull in August 2018. Renim Uday and her mother, Kaola Salim, were both stabbed to death outside the mother's home at the time of her murder. She was actually on the phone to West Midlands Police, which is said to be just one of multiple calls that she had made to the force regarding her estranged husband, Jan Baz Tarin. An inquest had found that West Midlands Police failed multiple times to investigate the allegations made against Jan Baz, with a previous IOPC inquiry being just as damning for the force. In the IOPC report, they had found that at least five West Midlands police officers had made catastrophic mistakes, failed to make appropriate risk assessment checks, and failed to carry out criminal investigations into Janraz. Tarin Jambaz admitted the murders after he was caught and was later jailed for life with a minimum of 32 years in December 2018. The inquest jury said that those failures had materially contributed to the women's murders. The jury also concluded that officers who dealt with some of the incidents had insufficient training and a lack of understanding of forced domestic abuse policies. IOPC Regional Director Derek Campbell said the circumstances of this case are shocking and profoundly disturbing and I would like to express my sympathy to the family of Renim and Kaola for their loss. Our investigation found that satisfactory intelligence checks were not carried out when responding to incidents involving Renim and her ex-partner. It was our view that West Midlands Police dealt with each incident in isolation and did not consider the cumulative effect and potential increase in the frequency and or level of violence. He added, it was apparent that there were police resourcing issues and a lack of clear communication about their response over the next few hours before the fatal attack took place outside Renim's mother's home. Our review of the full history of incidents and police involvement with Renim shows that there were missed opportunities to take action and affect the risk prior to her death. West Midlands Police Assistant Chief Constable Andy Hill admitted, We should have done more, and Renim's and Kaola's family dignity throughout the inquest has been humbling. Now, to be honest, you already know the word salad by now, but if the video was longer, I'd simply skip the bullshit platitude and false apologies, but as this is quite a relatively short video, I'm adding it to help with a bit of watch time. He said in a statement, It is clear that we should have done more to join up the incidents of abuse that were being reported to us so that the officers considering Renim's case had a full picture of the ordeal that Renim was enduring at the hands of Janbaz Tarin. The seriousness and pattern of abuse should have been better recognised. The risk posed by Mr Tarin should have been better assessed and the crimes that were being committed should have been better identified and investigated with action taken against Mr Tarin. Nothing unusual, to be honest. We've heard so frequently how police failed to do the most basic of police work and someone's ended up seriously injured or dead. Although we hear of these investigations, it seems that still nobody is ever really held to account, uh, blaming it on systems and procedures and lack of training, but never really anybody taking true responsibility.